In the domain of science and enormous secrets, the topic of what existed before the enormous detonation has mixed discussions and interested personalities for a really long time. This significant inquiry doesn't simply challenge how we might interpret the universe. It challenges the actual limits of human information. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, gazing into the tremendous dimness, and thinking about what lay there before our universe was conceived. The event of the Big Bang marked the start of time, space, and all that we know. However, was there a moment prior, before this? Might there have been a condition of nothingness? A quiet before the grandiose ensemble began? And, if this is true, was it? Or maybe there was something even more unnerving that existed before time itself? As we dive deeper into this question, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's starting point into ideas that defy our comprehension. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his investigation into the miracles of the universe, proposes that something startling could have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to reevaluate our idea of reality and existence. In this investigation, we'll analyze the science, the hypotheses, and the stunning secrets that may explain what existed prior to everything. We'll explore ideas like grandiose expansion, quantum fluctuations, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we've uncovered may very well stun you, but they could also open new understandings of our place in the universe. Prepare to dive deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the unknown still weaves the shadows, leaving researchers flabbergasted and sometimes even disturbed. We should investigate what existed before the Big Bang and why these speculations challenge all that we thought we knew. To comprehend what may have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to carefully examine what the Big Bang really was. The Big Bang, as researchers define it, refers to the moment when the universe became extraordinarily hot and dense, expanding rapidly to set off the formation of all matter, energy, and infinite forces. When we gaze toward the night sky, we see evidence of this hot start, with galaxies fanning out in all directions from a primordial point. But why did this occur? And was there a time before this thick, hot beginning? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was nowhere near void or tranquil. Cosmic inflation suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and relaxed, practically like a vast vacuum. However, this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained a tremendous amount of energy that powered the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, called inflation, occurred so quickly that it essentially laid the foundation for everything that would follow in a fraction of a second. Space expanded at unbelievable speeds until the expansion slowed, and the energy transformed into matter, particles, and the forces we perceive as the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly swell the universe? And why did it stop? Researchers believe that this cosmic inflation created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric stretching endlessly, with tiny bubbles forming here and there, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are potentially infinite Big Bangs and an endless number of universes. Our own is just one of many. This immense, mind-bending reality challenges our comprehension of the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The concept of nothingness before the Big Bang is hypothetical, not real, at least according to our current understanding. Even if you removed all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an inevitable tapestry of something, even in its most empty form. Even if we imagine stripping away all of these forces, leaving a dark void, the universe would still generate new types of energy. This reality alone is puzzling to researchers, as it suggests that true nothingness may be impossible within our cosmic understanding. As we probe deeper, we find that space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with absolutely nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy, except quantum fields and fundamental constants. These would still exist, implying that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's a phenomenon called zero-point energy, 
which represents the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still briefly appear and vanish, creating a ghostly echo of movement, even in what should be empty space. This challenges our concept of a true void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most astonishing hypotheses in modern cosmology is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's possible it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes a frighteningly vast inflationary multiverse, where universes are endlessly created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark lighting another universe, while inflation continues in other regions, creating countless other universes. This process could, in theory, continue forever. This idea of endless universes gives birth to a captivating concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe could potentially create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent realm, unaffected by the others due to the rapid expansion of space. For scientists, this theory is both exciting and disturbing, as it suggests a perpetual multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. What if our universe is just one speck in a giant cosmic structure? endlessly expanding and creating forever? And what if the unsettling truth is that there is no before or after, but only an eternal cycle of universes forming and decaying? How we might interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe is not simply a collection of matter floating in space. Rather, it's an intricate network of energy fields that fill the universe, interacting to create everything we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish in these fields, briefly acquiring energy before returning it. This phenomenon gives rise to virtual particles, entities that momentarily exist and then disappear, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the notion of a true void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would you have total nothingness? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, sometimes producing transient particles. This constant movement in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces persist filling the universe with a hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have arisen from this nothingness, filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a mysterious force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? According to some scientists, it's possible that dark energy today is a remnant of an energy field from before our universe's formation. The properties of dark energy seem to suggest a tremendous hidden force that may have existed in some form before the Big Bang. Some theories propose that dark energy, in a much stronger state, might have powered the inflationary phase, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy implies that even if our universe were emptied of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to stretch the fabric of space-time. This thought leads to a disturbing question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, might it have shaped the conditions that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of cosmic inflation, or even the true origin of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not only as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could unlock the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis that offers an alternative to the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning is cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe goes through infinite cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event, but perhaps part of an eternal rhythm where universes expand, collapse, and then rebirth in another cycle. This theory suggests that our universe may have been renewed from the remnants of a previous universe. The process of contraction and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true beginning, but instead an endless series of universes emerging, evolving, and rejuvenating themselves over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises important questions about time, 
as it suggests that time itself may be cyclical rather than linear. If this theory is correct, it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was simply another version of the universe, one that collapsed only to give birth to our current universe. For scientists, this theory offers a rich answer to the question of ultimate beginnings, suggesting that there is no true beginning. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our concepts of time and existence. Primordial gravitational waves are another fascinating idea that could hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive astronomical events, and scientists believe that primordial waves, if ever detected, could reveal details about the universe's earliest moments. These waves would be remnants from the inflationary period, carrying information about what happened in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. But what if there were waves originating even before the Big Bang? Some theories suggest that gravitational waves could exist from a pre-Big Bang period, if such a time existed. Detecting these waves could provide direct evidence of events or conditions that occurred before inflation and the hot Big Bang. However, detecting primordial waves from before the Big Bang is a tremendous challenge. Scientists are developing sensitive instruments to detect these subtle waves, hoping that one day they will unveil a hidden layer of cosmic history. Such a discovery would not only answer questions about our universe's earliest stages, but also about the deeper cosmic forces that might have ignited its existence. Quantum foam, a concept proposed by physicist John Wheeler, is another theory that hints at the possibility of pre-Big Bang existence. According to quantum mechanics, space is not truly empty, but is filled with constant fluctuations of energy at the smallest scales. This quantum foam suggests that at the tiniest sizes of reality, particles can appear and vanish in fleeting moments, giving rise to brief pockets of energy. This idea supports the vacuum genesis hypothesis, which posits that the universe might have arisen from a massive quantum fluctuation in the ocean of quantum foam. The vacuum genesis hypothesis suggests that what we see as the Big Bang was, in fact, one of these energy fluctuations, growing until it became the universe. This view redefines the idea of nothingness, suggesting that even in the absence of matter, energy, and conventional space-time, there still exists a dynamic reality. If our universe is indeed the result of a fluctuation in quantum foam, then there may be other universes emerging and disappearing within this quantum ocean. This idea expands the multiverse hypothesis and suggests that our universe's existence may be far more ordinary in the grand design of cosmic phenomena. Quantum tunneling is a phenomenon in quantum mechanics where particles can pass through energy barriers, even when they seemingly don't have enough energy to do so. This concept of tunneling is intriguing when applied to the universe itself. Some cosmologists suggest that our universe might have tunneled into existence from another realm or plane of reality. Quantum tunneling would allow energy to break through otherwise insurmountable boundaries, resulting in a universe emerging from another plane of existence. This hypothesis adds a mysterious layer to what existed before the Big Bang, as it implies that our universe might have spilled or tunneled into being from a different domain. If this hypothesis holds any truth, then our universe could be just one of many that form, evolve, and disappear within a much larger cosmic structure. Quantum tunneling suggests that the Big Bang might not have been the beginning, but rather the result of a boundary being crossed, an instant when our universe arose into the vast unknown. As we explore these hypotheses, it becomes clear that our understanding of the universe's beginnings is limited, but growing. The Big Bang was once thought of as the ultimate start, the specific point from which all existence sprang. But now, with ideas like inflation, the multiverse, and quantum fields, we see a far more complex tapestry. Scientists like Brian Cox encourage us to imagine that something existed before our universe, something powerful enough to ignite the Big Bang and set off the chain of events leading to our reality. The implications of these theories are both exhilarating and humbling, reminding us that the universe is full of mysteries still to be solved. So, what existed before the Big Bang? While science may one day uncover more answers, for now, we stand at the edge of what we know, gazing into the unknown with curiosity, awe, and a hint of fear. The vastness of the universe, its intricate designs, and the secrets it holds remind us that our place in the universe is both extraordinary and transient. Embracing this mystery is part of what makes us human, and it drives us to keep exploring.
As we continue to investigate the mysteries of what may have existed before the Big Bang, it's crucial to consider the role of theoretical physics in shaping our understanding. While the concepts of quantum mechanics, inflation, and the multiverse offer compelling theories, they all highlight one major idea. The universe is far more complex than we initially imagined. The very nature of time, space, and reality itself appears to be much more fluid than our everyday experiences would suggest. One captivating idea in this domain is the concept of time as we know it, which may not have existed before the Big Bang. In some interpretations of physics, especially those related to quantum gravity and string theory, time is considered a new property of the universe, rather than a fundamental characteristic of reality. If this is true, then time itself may have come into being only when the conditions for space and matter were set into motion during the Big Bang. Before this moment, there may not have been a before at all no sequence or progression, just a timeless state that defies human perception. Additionally, some cosmologists speculate that the very laws of physics as we understand them may not have applied before the Big Bang. In such a pre-universe state, the principles of causality which govern how events unfold might not have been active. This leads to the mind-bending possibility that the usual rules of cause and effect, which guide our view of reality, could be entirely different or irrelevant in this early state. In this view, the Big Bang may not have been a singular, defining event, but rather part of an ongoing cyclical process of cosmic evolution. This aligns with the concept of a Big Bounce, where the universe contracts to a singularity before expanding again. Such a hypothesis offers a possible solution to the question of ultimate origins, suggesting that the birth of our universe may have been preceded by a previous cosmic collapse, leading to an endless pattern of birth, death, and rebirth. These ideas underscore the limits of human knowledge, but they also highlight how close we may be to uncovering a new chapter in how we understand the universe. Each new discovery, whether through the detection of primordial gravitational waves, further exploration of quantum fields, or theoretical advancements in string theory, could one day provide insights into the very nature of existence itself. The journey toward these answers may not be quick, but the quest remains one of the most exciting endeavors in science today.